next featured plant is Pacific Bleeding Heart, also known as Dicentra formosa. So this plant is actually a very popular garden plant, so you might have seen cultivars of it growing in the landscape. Though sometimes the ones you'll see growing in the landscape are different though than these ones. So in the wild, the flowers are quite small and heart-shaped. and They're not as big and fancy as the cultivars you see in gardens. So after these plants are pollinated, there is a little seed pod that will grow out the bottom of the plant and form into little kind of a bean pod like shape. So you can see it just starting to form on this one. So inside the little bean pod are little black seeds that are distributed by ants. So that's only one way this plant spreads. It also spreads by rhizomes. So it has these soft, juicy rhizomes that are quite uh, brittle and break but they spread well underground and this plant ends up forming nice dense colonies so you'll see them growing in clumps quite frequently. If you look closer at the leaves you'll notice they're growing up from the base so all of the leaves are called basal leaves. They grow quite tall about 60 centimeters and they're about the same height as the flowers and if you look closer at them you'll notice that they are very dissected into small fern-like foliage. So if you're walking around in a, in a wet coastal forest at low to mid elevations, you'll probably run across Pacific Bleeding Heart, at least in the springtime. It often goes dormant later in the year, so keep an eye for, out for it in the er, earlier part of the season. So that's it for today's featured plant, Pacific Bleeding Heart, Dicentra Formosa.